In this lecture, you will learn what is an arrow function. An arrow function is a new way of writing functions in JavaScript and it was introduced in ES6. So, an arrow function is a shorter way of writing an anonymous function. Let's understand this with an example. Let's use our greeting function example again. So, let's create this greetings variable and to this, let's assign an anonymous function. So here I'm using the function expression syntax to create this function. And inside this function, let's simply say console.log. Good morning user, welcome back. Now to execute this function, we can simply call this, you know, use the parenthesis on this greetings variable. So if I save the changes, you can see that it has executed this function and it has logged this message good morning user welcome back to the developer console now the definition of this anonymous function can be shortened more by using arrow function so let's write this same function using arrow function so let's remove this and to write an arrow function first we use parenthesis like this okay and if you have any parameter for your function you can provide it inside these parentheses and then we use arrow so you can write arrow by using equal to and greater than sign like this and then we use curly braces and inside this curly braces we write the body of the function so again let's say console.log good morning user welcome back okay and notice here that this function also, this arrow function also does not have a name. So this is also an anonymous function. And that's why we say that arrow function is a shorter way of writing anonymous functions. Now, if I save the changes, it should still work and it should log this message. Good morning user, welcome back in the developer console. All right, now let's say your function also takes a parameter. So let's use name parameter, okay? So now this function is expecting value for this name parameter and we are going to use this name parameter here. So instead of saying user, we want to use this name parameter like this. Okay. Now when we call this function, we will have to provide value for this name parameter. So let's pass John. Let's save the changes and now it should work. So here now it has logged. Good morning, John. Welcome back. Okay. Now, here we have only one parameter. So when we have only one parameter, we can also remove these parentheses. Okay, so in this case, parentheses are not mandatory and it should still work. Okay, similarly, when you have only one line of code like we have here for this function, we can also remove these curly braces. Okay, so let's move it to the same line. And let's remove this curly braces. Since this function definition has only one line of code, we can remove curly braces. And if I save the changes, it should still work. But if you have more than one line of code in your function, then the curly braces are required. So let me get back the curly braces. Okay. Now, if you have more than one parameter or there is no parameter for your function, then the parentheses are mandatory. So let's include the parentheses here. And let's say we want to have one more parameter for this, you know, for this function. So let's use time of day parameter. So time of day. Okay. And instead of saying good morning, let's use time of day parameter here instead of morning. So time of day okay and now since this function is now expecting two parameters we will also have to pass the value for the time of day parameter so let's say time of day is evening if i save the changes in the output you can see it is printing good evening john welcome back okay so if we have more than one parameter or no parameter for our function then using parenthesis is mandatory and if we have only one line of code then we can simply, you know, omit these parentheses. Another thing to note here is that 
if you have only one line of code in your function like we have here and you are returning some value then the return keyword is not required for example let's say instead of logging it directly here let's return this value okay so return okay so here we are returning this message and let's also omit these parentheses here and let's move it to same line okay now when you have only one line of code and you are not using curly braces for writing your body then this return keyword is not required okay it will simply return it will automatically return the value from the function so if I save the changes and since this function is going to return a value let's store it in a variable and let's call this variable message and let's log this message okay if I save the changes it should still work okay so here we have not used return keyword because here we have not included curly braces to write the body for this function and this function also has only one line of code but if it has more than one line of code then the first thing which we need to do is we need to include curly braces okay so if you have more than one line of code in your function then you should include curly braces and here let's create a variable let's call it str okay and to this str we are assigning this value and then we want to return this value this str now in this case we have more than one line of code in our function so now return keyword is required so return str if i save the changes it should still work okay so an arrow function is a shorter way of writing anonymous function